So another thing um, that we find as administrators is that we have codes that um, tend to get out of hand. Um, when I was an administrator, sometimes I had large lists of codes and other global data that would take me forever to clean up. So in order to keep those manageable for, you know, pick lists for my users and um, to keep my reporting consistent, I would kind of cheat a little bit and I would have my DBA go into the back end to clean up those lists for me. But much to my disappointment, um, he was not solely dedicated to me and sometimes I had to wait for that um, to get it um, taken care of. So what I want to do on this case is I'm going to actually open a different layout so that we can see that um, I've got a project here. And um, I need all these activity codes in my projects, but you can see that I've got some problems, obviously, here. I have a phase code that's not used um, across all of my projects. It's actually just used within one of my EPS nodes. So I need to push that into to a piece, an EPS type of uh, activity code. I also have some duplicates here. I've got two equipment codes that actually need to be combined. So they've been created at two different levels, um, perhaps by two different users that, that didn't actually realize that they were creating combine those. And then I need to put that new code at my EPS level so that those projects can use my equipment codes. I've also got some duplicate specifications or specs, and I've got duplicate work orders. So I may have a million work orders that are project specific, but if they reside at the global level, I really don't need them there. I would need to, um, or I actually it makes more sense to have them at e in each project so that I don't have multiple work orders out there that not every project uses. So I'm going to go ahead and, and actually push that down into a project type code also. So let's take a look at what that looks like. I'm going to use one of these great utilities that we have in P6 Loader called our activity code roll down. So I've taken out and, and brought my codes into this sheet and you can see that I have my phase code here um, and I'm going to actually tell it that I want it to be become an EPS code. Um, I have my two equipment codes that are at those different levels but I'm going to combine them into one and then put that at my EPS level. Again, um, I had, remember I had those two uh, specs that I wanted to combine and I'm actually pushing that to the project level as well as my work order that I'm going to move to the project level. Um, I can control what EPS and project I put these codes to um, in these two columns where I can specify where they need to belong. On this final column, um, I have the option of whether I want to keep those particular codes in that in their original place and create the new ones or whether I want to delete them out. Now I might want to keep them um, so I can control and be sure that I am 100% sure that my roll down was successful and then later on I can go back and um, delete them with P6 Loader also. So I can keep them there just in case you know it didn't quite work the way that I had anticipated. So they're still there. Now I'm going to uh, load that back in and again I need to change and make sure that I'm in my proper database that I want to load into. I'm going to log in. I'm going to go and browse to the file and select it and get those codes rolling back to where I need to. Now as it's working, um, P6 Loader will also go out into the project itself because I have indicated that I wanted to change those and it's going to go into each project where these exist and it's going to update them for me. So I don't have to go in to each individual project and reassign each one of those codes that I'm creating new. So now that it's complete, I can go to my P6 and refresh my data. Now as this refreshes, we're going to see that those, those codes are gone. It's because they've been reassigned and pushed down. So I can go into my columns and I can see here that I now have activity codes at my project level. There's my specs and my work order. So I'm going to bring those over. And also now I have in my EPS level my equipment 
and my new phase code that I've pushed down to those EPS levels. So I can say OK, and you can see that now I have my equipment that is all combined, as well as my specs that are combined, and we've pushed those down to the levels that we need them to be at in order to keep our database clean and, and more logical um, and not have information that is not needed to be shared across um, our entire uh, set of projects.